I think it's unrealistic for artists today to depend on streaming revenue. It's, um, it can be lucrative depending on the numbers of streams, but even at that level, the splits and what comes back to the artists themselves, um, that's where the issue lies. So even with millions of streams, you may only see a few thousand pounds <laughs> coming back to you. So I think it's unrealistic to depend upon it, um, but it is realistic to campaign to amend the situation and to try and turn it in favour of the music makers themselves. So next week is the um, signing of the bill to amend the splits for music makers, the um, rights and remuneration of musicians bill. But I think there's still a long way to go in terms of all parties in the music industry feeling comfortable with what's in that bill. Having no strings attached, sustainable income for a composer means that you're able to focus on creating the music itself and worry less about um, covering your bills and your general basic welfare. I think artists need to have enough space to feel free to not only explore areas of their creativity that they're comfortable with, but being able to take risks. And that may involve extra funding, that may involve doing things that are out of your comfort zone, that may involve a whole host of factors that might put a composer under pressure or stop them from exploring things that they want to explore based on the practicalities of everyday life. So I think it's essential that there is um, a peace of mind in one's basic livelihood, that the lights are gonna stay on and that <laughs> they'll be um, somewhere warm to come home to, so that the rest of their time can be open to creating incredible work. <laughs>